Hi fishies, hello Pisces, welcome to this reading. I'm going to be doing a timeless reading, timeless reading after dark, because it's night time here. Having a glass of wine, relaxing, today is the eclipse. So I'm going to definitely be doing some interesting manifestation magic in a little bit. I got myself kind of like a bonfire thingy that I can use in my terrace. So I'm going to be doing some interesting stuff. And I just wanted to check in with you guys, see how you guys are doing. I know I'm pos posting a lot of readings right now. That's because I spent so long without being able to post. So I'm just catching up, hanging out. <laughs> I hope this is not too dark. I hope that you guys can see the cards. Pisces. Let's just see what comes up. I'm not going to do a Celtic cross right now. I'm just going to... Take the cards that fall on the table upright. Universe, talk about this eclipse. Tell us what's coming up for Pisces through this powerful eclipse. What is coming up? You got Page of Cups, Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands. Hmm. Interesting. Queen of Swords. Two of Swords. Four of Pentacles. I feel like there's... This Eclipse is... I feel, I feel finalizing a phase of your life that... As I mentioned earlier, you're trying to hold on to, but you shouldn't. There's like this cricket. I don't know if you can hear it. I feel like it's like inside my apartment, but I can't find it. It's like really loud. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's this offer of love, Pisces. We talked about this this morning. An offer of love that has some difficulties, obstacles, like it's not clear to you if it's real, if it's something that the other person is meaning to offer to you. It's like, here's the cup, but not really. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's something that they're trying to give you or they're saying that they're giving you, but they're not really giving you. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a very sensitive person. Someone who's very intuitive. And this offer of love or attempt of an offer of love or illusion of an offer of love is bringing in the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So these are the two tens that I consider kind of heavy as opposed to the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, it's burden. It's burden to a point in which it becomes kind of like a breaking point. This is burden, heaviness, overwhelm, feeling like you have hit rock bottom. So I feel like there is something here that has hit rock bottom related to a water sign or related to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Pisces, I honestly feel like you're being very objective about this. It's like you're trying to believe them, but then action and words are just not in the same page. And you're giving yourself permission to see things for what they are, Pisces. You are being objective, you're having good discernment, you're looking through things, you're not taking things at face value, taking things, you're taking them with a grain of salt. At the end of the day, words are just words, right, Pisces? Actions are what determine really what's going on. You've got the star here. There's something that the universe wants to give you, Pisces. 
And it's something that far exceeds your expectations. And for some of you, it exceeds what you feel like you deserve, what you feel like you're, you know, ready to receive. It's like, let's say that you have always thought, you know, like maybe you could be with this person, that person romantically, but you would never go for the most popular or most beautiful or handsome or most successful person. Because maybe there's a belief inside of you that those types of people are hard to get or something like that. And Pisces, I feel like like you haven't given yourself a proper chance to go after someone or something, whether this is a person or a job, something that is top notch, you know? It's like... It's like Pisces, as though you have been all of your life trying to reach for the lowest hanging fruit instead of like the high, most delicious fruit in the tree, which happens to be a little bit, you know, above. I don't know if this makes sense, um, but it's like you're going to be surprised with something is what I'm hearing. Like this eclipse is going to bring something that is going to knock you off your feet um sweep you sweep sweep you off your feet you can barely talk i swear i'm not drunk though <laughs> this is literally all the wine that i'm gonna have tonight but i feel like i can't speak um yeah something is gonna sweep you off your feet that's what i'm trying to say uh also i feel that there is gonna be i feel i feel or someone or something that what i'm hearing is dream come true a dream that you have not given yourself permission to dream. It's like, let's say you have this celebrity crush. <laughs> I have my own personal celebrity crush. That I just discovered his name today, which is the guy from 13 Reasons Why. Somebody commented in the comments on one of the readings about 13 Reasons Why. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with Clay. <laughs> <laughs> He's the cutest. And just today I realized like what his name actually is. And what I'm what I'm getting is that you might be surprised, Pisces, by creating a connection with someone that is your like superstar crush or um like that awesome job that you never thought that you could get, that you always thought was above you, or that dream, that experience, that trip that friend, you know, something that honestly you never really allowed yourself to dream about because you would never consider it, it could happen, you know, you would never consider it, it could happen. Um, and I feel like right now you don't really have to do anything. You're just minding your own business, Pisces. You are trying to step out of a Energy of worry, distress, sadness, pessimism. I feel like you're trying to get out of that energy and into your path. You got the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords. So there's definitely decisions that need to be made. Important decisions that are ultimately going to open the path for you to continue to move forward. And you know that you're on the right track, Pisces. And if you, if you can't tell, you should listen to all the readings because this is something that continues to come up. Pisces has a lot of very positive readings. Not always, but right now, I feel like every one of them is very hopeful, very inspiring. It, it, it's always, they're always bringing this messages of there's something amazing coming, there's something incredible right around the corner and I wonder where, when we're actually gonna get there but I feel like we already are a little bit you know like there's at least in my life I can see a lot of blessings coming in and I bet that in your life if you think about it and you connect to the gratitude I bet that you can find a lot of other things that you can be grateful for so right now is a time to rest Pisces it's a time to rest and take care of your money take care of your energy 
But there is someone here that just, I feel Pisces, that you need to address very objectively. This is someone from the past. This person might be deceiving you. Maybe this is not what they have in mind. Maybe this is not what they want to do to you, but it's just... It's like you're over here, and the offer of love is just being sent in a different direction. It's confusing, overwhelming. And it makes you sad, Pisces, from what I see here. But there is something that you need to give yourself permission to experience. Something that is far greater than what you've been asking of life. Far greater than what you have been used to accepting. Why can't you have that incredible over-the-top job? Why can't you have that spectacular person you've always had a crush on? Why can't you have that level of abundance? Why can't you live in that country or visit that city? Why do you think that you can't do that? Where there's a lot of other people who can. They're, no, they're not stronger than you, Pisces. They're not wiser than you. They're no, not more handsome or more beautiful than you are. That's just in your head. So allow yourself to open up to possibilities that are greater. Taking leaps of faith, taking chances, allowing yourself to explore things that before you wouldn't have dared to, you know, go after. Messages for Pisces. For the eclipse messages for pisces this eclipse is bringing in that new normal for you i feel like you have been whoa okay i feel like you have been Shifting and changing and maturing and growing, right? Into this new version of you. And ma many Pisces have experienced a lot of loneliness because you're not compatible anymore with the people that you had in your life. So as you change, as you evolve, as you get better, brighter, greater, um, your vibrational frequency is not a match anymore to the people who were in your life. So there may be a lot of relationships ending. They may, there may be a lot of friendships that just kind of like fall away. And this is a reflection of how much you are changing, Pisces. So if you feel like you have no friends right now, if you feel like there's no one you connect to right now, consider that a compliment. Consider that, um, ooh, the sun, this is the first card I see, this is the first sun card that I see from this deck. Like, I've never seen the sun card in this deck before. Yeah, consider it a compliment, guys, because what's coming through the eclipse, through this gateway for you, at least from what I'm seeing in the cards, I don't know about the astrology, but... What I'm seeing here from the cards is this powerful energy that is going to bring in everything that is now a vibrational match to you. So I see powerful connections. I see true, authentic friendships. People who are in the same level of you, like, as you, in every way, you know. People who have met their professional goals and can help you out and who can you can help out. Also, people who have the same moral compass as you. People who are trustworthy, transparent, honest, clear. You have been trying to fit in even though you think you haven't, there's a part of you, Pisces, that has tried to fin fit in into a corrupt system. 
Because that's the only way that you could live, you know, like, I mean, if the system works this way, I guess I have to adapt to it, right? But now you're going to realize that you're calling in soulmates, you're calling in Reflections of your true self is what I'm hearing. Reflections of your true self in other people. In romantic relationships, in work-related associations, friends, family. You're shining bright. <laughs> oh my god, I once heard this thing. I hope that I say it right. It's like, let your... Freak flag fly so other freaks or other weirdos or something like that find you? Know where to find you? Something like that. Yeah, it's like you're you're being very loud about who you are. You're being very much yourself in a way that it's so bright that it will pull in the people who will resonate with you. And that is also a sign, Pisces, that there is more stability coming up for you. Because I feel like when we are in transitional states in which our frequency is changing so dramatically, it's kind of pointless to develop relationships because you're going to outgrow them like every five seconds. And you're going to be leaving, like getting to know people, leaving them behind. Getting to know people, leaving them behind. And... When I say leaving them behind, this is um, I don't I don't mean abandoning them. I don't mean judging them. I don't mean that you're better than them. What I'm saying is that energy dictates a lot of how compatible you are with a person. And if you're gonna be like outgrowing the frequency every five seconds, you know it's not that productive to invest so much in your relationships. I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say. So now I feel like there's a bigger form of stability that is coming to you because I feel like the universe is bringing in all of those connections. And that is a sign that it's like, okay, you have arrived at your new normal or a level in which you're going to spend a lot of years in. Because now you can um, kind of like have roots in this new frequency. Create roots, like root yourself in it. And develop all of these relationships, which I feel is going to be very, very pleasant for you, Pisces. Because I feel like there's a lot of Pisces who have been very lonely. And also very patient. And now it's like, you're finally going to land in this new normal and, you know, move into it, settle down into it. And allow yourself to enjoy all the benefits of that new frequency that you have worked so hard on developing and that the universe has, you know, put you, put you through so much to get to, you know. I feel like my tongue is tied. I feel like my words are just not flowing properly. Is there a difficult conversation, Pisces, that you feel like you need to have? Is there something that you want to say but don't feel like you can? It's interesting. Anyway guys, there's weird sounds in my house. I think that that may be Tao. Maybe he found the cricket. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you soon my fishies. Make the most out of tonight. Tonight is a very special night energetically. I'm gonna go do my witchy stuff. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy all of the blessings that this eclipse is going to bring for you guys. I know I will. Sending all my love. Bye Pisces.